you know, if you're, you want to start your day and you don't want to take anything crazy, but you want to just a light blend to help your brain get going, this is great. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I want to do a little re-review on this War Games Enhanced Gaming Mix. Now, I've reviewed a couple of these gaming mixes on my channel before, and essentially gaming mixes are like a medium dose of caffeine, a bunch of nootropics, and then a couple ingredients to help eye health. So it's essentially a very strong nootropic base type supplement. Um, to me, it kind of lacks the X factor of having something like a DMHA, an AMP citrate, a area gerinesis, a roscolin, all those have an extra level of excitement to them that I really wish was in this product, but it has so many great products that I've loved, I've always loved, and it just gives you a really, really good nootropic base. I really wish they actually tuned up some of the ingredients to make the taste a little better because the taste is challenging, but it's doable for me. B12 cyanocobalin. Now again, I hate the cyanocobalin. It turns into cyanide in your body. Go ahead and Google that. And normally they use it at a pretty reasonable dose, but they have 20,000% of it in here. Choline bitartrate, you got 400 milligrams in here, a very decent dose, modest dose. I've always liked choline bitartrates and I've never had an issue with it. N-acetyl tyrosine at 500 milligrams. I love N-acetyl tyrosine, I love tyrosine. If there's some sort of energy mix or stimulation mix or workout mix or any awakening blend, I always want either tyrosine or N-acetyl tyrosine. N-acetyl tyrosine is the stronger one. Usually it tastes a little bit worse. So people will opt for tyrosine in these type of blends, but we have 500 milligrams here, which is really good. I'm pretty sure if you were to buy this in capsule form, it comes in 350 milligrams. So it's higher than the average dose for it, which I love. Rhodiola rosea, again, this is probably why this supplement does not taste good because N-acetyl tyrosine doesn't really taste very good. Rhodiola rosea definitely doesn't taste very good. And you got 250 milligrams in here. Besides the taste though, Rhodiola Rosea is one of my favorite supplements. I'm actually remembering it a little bit now as I'm talking about it, but there was a time where I would just love Rhodiola. I would push it on all my friends and just be like, I take it all the time, it's fantastic. I've since like taken a break from it. I don't know if I still have any, but I've used Rhodiola on its own so much and I love it. It's kind of like an adaptogen found high up in the mountains. And Yerba Mate, so I'm just gonna go ahead and describe the caffeine right now. I think it has like between like 60 and 80 milligrams of caffeine if i see it on the the box somewhere i'll let you know but it has a very low amount of caffeine so you have this yerba mate which provides 25 percent caffeine and you also have green tea which should have some caffeine in it then you have green tea here it does not list the caffeine content so i don't know if there's any caffeine in that green tea and then you got dynamine aka methyl liberine so dynamine and teacrine are used very interchangeably they're very very similar to caffeine but i after a lot of testing don't really like dynamine that much i don't really get this extra level of stimulation or focus from it. It does feel a little bit caffeine-like, but it's also very short acting. You know, it's something to where if I was making a mix with no caffeine in it, I would probably want it in there just because it's gonna feel a little bit like caffeine, but at the same time, it's not the exact same molecule, but I don't really like it in high stim blends. Thankfully, this is a low stim blend, so it kind of works well here, but I am just turning into not the biggest fan of Dynamine. Now, Teocrine, on the other hand, I really, really, really like Teocrine, very smooth. Like if you're somebody who likes coffee and you want a superior version of coffee, Teocrine is 100% perfect in every single way, except for the fact that it tastes really bad, the same as Dynamine, it tastes horrible. So even this blend, they don't put like a huge dose of it in here. They only have 50 milligrams of active theocrine. So to be honest, for how bad theocrine tastes, uh, they've done a pretty good job of blending it, but I love theocrine. It's uh, anti-inflammatory, which caffeine is not. It has much, much less chance of crash, and it lasts a little bit longer than caffeine. It's just perfect. Uh, you got guarana in here. Now that's, that's supplying more of the caffeine. Theobromine, now that's another thing that 
every time they add theobromine to a mix, it does seem to help a little bit. Again, it's not next level kind of a feeling like I would say you get from DMAA, DMHA, AMP citrate, area geranesis, roscolin, all those provide that extra level of excitement and stimulation. I've always liked theobromine and I always recommend it in any mood slash energy mix. Okay, you got Bacopa morian, moriani or something like that. Now that is used in so, so many nootropic style blends. I know it's great for the brain. I'll try to put it on screen. You got grape seed extract again, I love grapeseed extract. It's fantastic. It does so many things for me. Helps get rid of really bad cysts, clears up my skin. This is fantastic, but it tastes horrible. So they only have 30 milligrams in here, which that's probably supposed to be for eye health, but I don't really know if 30 milligrams is gonna do too much because I've taken several grams at a time, which is thousands of milligrams. So, and then you got this Marigold at 15.5 milligrams right there. Don't really know what that is. I think it is for your eye health though, because this is a gaming mix. And like I was saying, gaming mixes are a little bit of caffeine, nootropics and eye health. And then the last thing we got here is this Hyperzine A. Hyperzine A is essentially a backdoor to get more choline in the body. I think it stops your body from turning the choline into something else or destroying the choline. I just did a review on vintage muscle pre-workout. Absolutely love that stuff. That has hyperzine A in it, does not have choline, but I think it's more balanced if you have hyperzine and choline. So anyways, really quick, the effects on this stuff. I think this is a really, really good baseline nootropic blend. You know, if you're, you wanna start your day and you don't wanna take anything crazy, but you wanna just a light blend to help your brain get going, this is great. You know, if you're taking a really, really strong stimulants, and you want um, you know, just a little bit of backbone of, for like extra balance for your brain, all these other nootropics to help you alongside the stimulation, this is perfect. It was really cheap, I don't know if it is now, I think it was like $21 for 30 servings, but anyways guys, let me know what you think of War Games, it's been fun to re-review it. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help, you guys are the best. Having a great day out here, hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video, peace.